I'm walking along a city street with murder in my heart. Tonight is the night I must kill. Remember the name, Herbie Sachs. Fat, sweaty Herbie Sachs. He'll be sitting behind his big desk and he'll look up at me and smile and his fat neck will spill over the expensive collar of the expensive shirt that he'll be wearing. So far, so good. No one around. So far, so good. Why do I keep saying that? Some sign painter will have a new job. Scrape the name in gold letters off the glass door. Herbert J. Sachs, private investigator, will soon be dead, gentlemen. Through the panel of the glass door, the fat shadow of the big man sitting happily in his swivel chair. Mr. Sachs waits within, murderer. Knock on his door. Oh, uh, hold it a minute. The janitor wants to come in. Get up from the chair, Herbie. Come and open the door. Meet your doom. Start in the other office. Oh. Hello, Mark. Well, what do you want? A few moments of your time. Oh, I'm busy. Let's make it simple. Inside, Herbie. Go ahead, Herbie. Sit down. Uh, what do you want? Herbie, I'm through. You bled me for the last nickel. What are you talking about? I made a mistake a long time ago. I went hunting and I killed a man. It was an accident. But instead of turning myself in and getting off on a charge of manslaughter, I listened to the advice of a man named Herbie Sachs. Go home. Mark. Nobody saw you shoot him, you said. Nobody did, except you, Herbie. I'll be silent, said Herbie. Now look, Mark. I've had to pay for your silence. Haven't I, Herbie? Through the nose. Who do you think you are? Coming here like this? Why, for two cents... For I... two cents, you'd sell your mother, your grandmother, and your wife, Gretchen. A nice girl who doesn't deserve you. I'm warning you, Mark. You're through warning people, Herbie. I wonder how many others will breathe easier when once they learn you're no longer exercising the big stick. Uh, uh, well, what are you going to do? This. <laughs> scrape the gold letters off the glass door. Herbert J. Sachs sits dead in his swivel chair, the blood running a crazy pattern down the front of his expensive shirt, his mouth silent, no words, no accusations, no talk of any kind, no talk. Wait. Wait, Herbie was talking to somebody when I knocked on the door. Nobody here. Who was he talking to? Must have been talking to somebody on the telephone. He didn't hang it up. Hello? Hello? Who's there? Please don't... Somebody I knew? Somebody I didn't know? Somebody like Herbie who'd make me suffer some more? I had to find out. But how? How? I got an idea. The phone pad. Today, March 24th, and under the date, three names. L. Collins, the name Janice, and a phone number, and an Art Lafoon. Could it have been one of them? On the phone, you heard... What? Was it a radio? Was it a record? That's all you have to go on, but it'll have to be enough. Even now, whoever it was may be calling the police. 